Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. I am currently getting ready. I just put on my moisturizer. I'm about to put on just a little bit of concealer. I'm not going to do anything too crazy. Because I don't really feel like overdoing it today. Anyway, I'm on my way today to go check out two places. I also have another place tomorrow. Um, apartments. I want to kind of get a look around, see what's available, what the price points are as I try to figure out and decide what I want to do, obviously, if I want to stay here or move forward. That's the decision I'm trying to make. Um, I'm going to try to record the locations. I don't know if they'll allow me to because at the moment, there are current tenants still in the apartments. So I just want to make sure that's okay, that I can film the place. Because, you know, obviously, they're still occupying the space. But we're going to go and check out the two places today and then tomorrow we're gonna go check out another spot and then tomorrow night is officially let me move you over here tomorrow night is officially the missy elliott concert y'all i am so excited for that and um unfortunately i still don't have an outfit <laughs> i don't know what i'm gonna wear i don't know after i view these two spots maybe i'll go to a few thrift stores because I don't feel like spending a lot of money and then see what I can find I do have the problem is I wasn't able to package everything of course because that would be too much I do have a few pants and then I do have a few tops but they're just not making sense right now with each other I don't know why I packed this way like nothing makes sense right now and then I only got two pair of shoes with me I got the black boots and then I've got my feel like green and white sneakers and honestly I don't really feel like wearing either one of those so we got to try to figure out what we're gonna do for tomorrow hopefully these apartments are pretty decent they're not too bad because I don't feel like spending a lot of money and I also don't want to live in a crappy location because the last apartment I was in was horrible y'all know y'all saw that but anyway, I'm just going to do a light beat and then we'll be on our way. I just came from the first place that I went to go check out. And um, like I said, people are still living in the apartment. So I didn't want to walk around and put their items and stuff on display. However, I did take a video of the bedroom. Y'all, that bedroom was so tiny. I mean, it was so tiny, girl. I can't even fit my thoughts in there. I cannot fit my thoughts in there. And I'm thinking to myself, like, how am I going to fit my bed? Because I don't even have a big bed. I have a full-size bed. I'm a small person. I don't need a ginormous bed, you know? I only have a full-size. I can't even fit that in there because it takes up like half of the space. How am I gonna fit my clothes and shoes and how am I going to function in there? It was so tiny and so claustrophobic. Honestly, <laughs> I've never been to prison, but it felt like a jail cell. And for the amount of money that they're asking for, it's just, it's not worth it to me. So that's a no for this apartment. We gotta keep looking. Hopefully the next one is not as bad, we'll see.
y'all. I just got back inside. It is so freaking hot outside. Oh my god. It's so hot. It is burning. Burning hot. I need some ice cream. Where's my spoon? I'm exhausted. Not because of like being tired, but just by being so hot outside that it just took away my energy. Mm-mm-mm. That is hitting the spot. <sighs> I can't even process. First of all, let's talk about the apartment I went to. Man, that... <laughs> I don't know if I should show a video clip. I'll think about it if I want to show a video clip of the video the girl gave me, um, sent to me. And I don't know if she used... What do you call the lens? What do you call them? When the lens kind of like push back in space and makes it look bigger. I feel like she used that type of lens in the apartment because it looked so much bigger and more spacious. And when I walked in, I'm not even exaggerating y'all. It looked like they took a studio and split it into a few rooms and then the kitchen. The bedroom, this bedroom that I'm staying in right now, the Airbnb. The bedroom is a full-size bed. There's a desk over here. There's AC. There's all this space here to walk through. There's the dresser and there's a closet, a decent-sized closet. The room that I went to go look at was about one-third of this entire bedroom. Not even half, one-third. And the girl's like, oh, you could fit a, a full-size bed. You just have to put it this way near the window. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, by the time I put my bed, I'm not going to have anything else. The bed is going to take up the entire room. So, definitely got scammed. <laughs> she was really nice, but I'm like, girl, there's no way in hell I'm signing this lease. Are you kidding me? There's no space. You can't breathe. The closet, the closet wasn't even a closet. The closet looks like, how can I describe it? You know a regular pantry, like a small pantry? It looks like that. There's no like deep space in the closet. Well, there's a little bit of space, but not a lot. It's so tiny. And the kitchen, <laughs> the kitchen was so small. It was literally a refrigerator, sink, tiny little counter, like half of a counter, not even full. Um, the living room was like everything was just tiny it looked like a dollhouse like if you can get an adult house and make it a dollhouse that's what it looked like super tiny so absolutely not I'm not taking that that space I'm not I'm not doing it and anyway I went to thrift oh my god my brain I went thrift room um all the things I had on my lap none of it fit me girl my body weight and my size has changed and I still haven't learned how to dress for what I am now. So I'm picking up sizes that are like the size I used to be and then I'm picking up a size more and it's still not fitting. So girl, I don't know. But anyway, I ended up finding this top and even though it's like winter vibes, it's really cute because it's cropped, right? It's not really winter vibes because it's summer vibe, but it's, it's thick. Like the material is super thick, it's knitted. I just thought it was super cute, so I grabbed this top so I can crop it. It kind of stays, because of my boobage, it kind of stays like right here, right where the boob ends. So luckily there's no under boob, but it hits right at that point. I just thought it was super cute, so I ended up buying that. And then also, <gasps> did it break? Oh my god, it broke already! What the heck? Well, it didn't break. It just separated. I just bought a necklace and it already like separated. I'm gonna have to squeeze it together. Hold on, give me a second, y'all. Okay, I put it back in. Girl, I would have been so pissed if it broke. <laughs> but 
but I bought this cute necklace I haven't worn a necklace in a very long time honestly I used to wear chokers 24 7 it was every single day that I would wear a choker but I haven't worn I haven't worn a choker in a long time also because even though I still kind of have my typical style that I that I tend to stick to I've been trying to shift little by little so you know anyway so this is the necklace I just thought it was super cute it was a heart with the black strings coming through it and then the two pearls hanging down now I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna wear it that's what I've got to decide eventually when I put it on so let me put it on so you can get an idea Girl, my ears. Earrings are always getting stuck in my earrings. I mean earrings. Wow. Necklaces are always getting stuck in my earrings. Can't speak English, girl. Okay, so it's twisted at the top. So basically you pull it to your desire length. I would say I would wear it right about here because I think that's really cute. Now the only thing I'm trying to decide is... Do I let it hang this way, like in the front, with the pearls like that? Or do I push it to the back and then look at the pearls are hanging from the back side? That's what I'm trying to decide. That's what I'm stuck on. I don't know what I want to do. I guess it depends on the kind of top. If it's a low cut top, then I can wear it this way and kind of have it. I also thought about twisting it but I don't know if twisting it might ruin it like lightly twisting it like so I don't know that might ruin it right maybe this way kind of hangs it's hard with necklaces I never really wear necklaces that go down too much because my boobs y'all I feel like they kind of just bounce off of it they don't really stay or they tend to go inside like that and I hate it so usually I wear a necklace it's like up to here or I'll just wear a choker like that but I like this pearl I just don't know do I wear it here or in the back I don't know but anyway y'all let me take this off and then show you what else I got Ugh, please don't get stuck in my ear okay successful okay what else do we got I'm gonna have to squeeze it shut it has like a little gap where you clip it at the clasp that's what's happening I'll just go and put it back and shut it down I mean what am I talking about I'll just go back and squeeze it tight <laughs> and then I bought these two cute rings okay cuz I don't really wear a lot of silver so when I saw that necklace and it has silver on it cuz I'm usually a gold kind of girl I'm either all gold jewelry or I mix silver on one side and gold on the other hand but anyway I saw this ring and I just thought this was super cute and it has the opalescent pearl right there in the middle I like how it has the strand kind of like double and thick on this end but then slim on that where it connects I just thought that was super cool and then also this ring is bad AF I love this ring it's a watch y'all a tiny little watch ring look at that look at the watch that is so cute and then it has a band like a watch itself and look at the band stretches similar to a watch so cool with the button there to adjust the time does it function I think it does is it moving no it's not moving oh it does though oh my god this is so cool I can actually put the time on my like clock um, ring look at wait a minute camera focus you see that little piece right there that clear little milky piece right there if I pull that apart then I can start setting the time and get it to work oh that is so cool okay let me pull this apart let me see do I have a tweezer here let me set the time and be back all right y'all so I got it to work oh my goodness this is so freaking cute let me show you it you see it it's working oh my goodness I can tell the time on my finger anyway let me put it on so you can see how cute they are 
so cool. I had to have it. As soon as I seen it, I was like, okay, I've got to buy this because this is so badass. Tell me that isn't cute. How cute is that? I am so obsessed. Definitely wearing this tomorrow. Now, should I put the clock on the ring finger and then the pointer? No, I like it like that. Right? It's a vibe. So that's all I did today. I'm going to come in, relax, take off my makeup, take a shower, and I'm just going to have a chill laid back day because all all day today, I all I did was um, go to look at apartments. And that wasn't the only apartment. There was another one, but that one wasn't even worth filming. And it was all the way deep in Queens, like near Flushing. So I didn't even pull out my camera for that. You only saw the second place that I went to. I mean, you only saw the first place that I went to, which was like the size of a shoebox. But the second place, I ain't bother, girl. After that, I went straight into um, the thrift store and started shopping. Anyway, I also have an apartment, an apartment in Harlem tomorrow to look at. I forgot, I forgot what street, but somewhere in Harlem. I'm gonna go and check that out. And then after I do that, I have to be because I got VIP um, meet and greet. So I'm gonna have to go. I think I have to be there by like 4 p.m. I gotta go back to Barclay Center at 4 p.m. The show doesn't start until 7, the concert. But from 4, 4 p.m. To, to 7, you get all the VIP treatments, you get to buy the merch. Also, you get like um, gift bags and things like that. So I have to be there early. So my appointment, I believe, is at like 1.30. I'm gonna go to Harlem, go check out the apartment there. I believe it's a studio, if I'm not mistaken. It's a studio. I'm gonna go check that out. And then um, run back to Barclays and do all I got to do. So it's busy. It's been busy today and then it's busy tomorrow. So I need just I need a moment to just like breathe and relax because I've been working the last like four days straight and I just need a breather. But anyway, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. I just finished getting ready. I put on some makeup. I've put on a lot of mascara today trying to get my lashes to pop just a little bit because i don't have any false lashes or anything with me um typical blush everything put a little bit of nude lipstick you can't really tell or see much i didn't know what to do with my hair because it's always a struggle trying to get this hair done so i just did like a high ponytail kind of well not a ponytail what am i talking about a high um messy bun because also girl i was not trying to detangle this hair and then i was trying to figure out my outfit i had such a hard time Oh, let me get the camera position. I had such a hard time finding an outfit to wear. But I settled on this, the crop little vest top that I bought yesterday. And then I've got on some loose baggy pants. And then I've got on my black boots. It's kind of just like holding it up that way. Because y'all, these are the only shoes and clothes and stuff I have with me. So, you know gotta make it work i'll show you a better look at my outfit once i reach the venue and then what i was stuck on was bags because this definitely does not match at all i don't want to hold on to that but then this one it's not so bad the problem is oh my headphones just fell the problem is i don't really want to hold on to like a long thing kind of killing the vibe so I'm thinking I'm gonna use it and just holding on with my hands but I have to like kind of twist this so like that the straps don't hang so low so you know Hold on. can you even see me maybe I need to place you over here <laughs> much better so I could hold on to it like that. Like, y'all, the way I'm struggling to show you these angles is crazy. So I can just, you know? But I feel like even though I had a dress and whatnot that I could put on, it's basically 90s and 90s are sporty wear. Because you know it's gonna be, it's gonna be um, Busta Rhymes, Sierra, Missy Elliott, and Timbaland. So it's more of like a, 90s throwback kind of vibe and i don't want to go with the typical dress or anything because that just wouldn't make sense anyway 
It's almost time. Not yet. I gotta go to Barclay Center. Because it's at the... Um, It's at the, what do you call that? That's not a theater. Arena? Is that what you call it? Like a concert arena? It's at that location. And then for my lip, like I said, I didn't do much. I used MAC Cosmetic Satin. I am obsessed with this color. It's this pretty color right here. I didn't use a lot. As you can see, it almost looks like my bare lips. And then to top it off with, I used the LA Colors um, Lip Gloss. And this one is, it's called Happiness. It has a bunch of numbers and then it's called Happiness. But anyway, it's this right here. It's like a really cute peachy situation with like glitter and sparkles in it. It has a little bit of shimmer. So when I'm in the light, you can see some of it. Because also I put some, on top of my blush, I put some of the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife highlighter. I added a little bit. Of to it so it can kind of sparkle just a bit also oh my goodness look at my necklace i like it but it's already annoying me so for this i'm gonna have to do one of these and then these just hang way too low so they're just gonna have to go in my shirt and like so anyway where's my phone y'all i'm super excited now, I wanted meet and greet with everyone. I was trying to put all of it in my card. I was trying to do Sierra, Busta Rhymes, and Timbaland. Because Missy Elliott herself, she did not have meet and greet. I don't know why, but she just didn't. Um, and I was trying to get everybody, but it was just like impossible to get everyone. So that's why I have to get there at um, 4 p.m. Let me see what the instructions say. Ooh. So check in between 4 and 4 p.m. 4.45 is VIP experience, 6 opens to the public, and then 7 is merchandise pickup end. And I have to check in the Flatbush entrance, bring my ID, but I think they let you do all that ahead of time. You will have ex access to exclusive meet and greet and personal photograph. Oh my god, why is my eyes tearing up? My makeup is making my eyes tear up. Please don't mess up because I don't want to have to do it again. Please bring your cell phone for your photo with the artist. A VIP tour assistant will take the picture. Oh, my eyes. Okay, so they tell you to grab all your items because they cannot be shipped after the event. So basically you lose out. And you get like a personalized um, VIP gift bag and things like that. Like a laminated lanyard like it's pretty badass so i'm excited <sighs> but anyway all right let me go fix this eye up and see what's happening and then i'll see y'all at the venue yeah i forgot to show you the rings okay so i did ended up putting the ring that i got yesterday but then i also added this cutie right here and i bought it from the same thrift store by the way i don't know if i mentioned the name it's called other people's clothes there's a bunch of locations out here in brooklyn i don't know if there's manhattan but i know brooklyn has a bunch of um locations so i also added this ring it's almost like a marble light yellow so i got these on this hand and then this on this wishing I didn't eat because there's a Chick-fil-A right there. I would love a Chick-fil-A entree but y'all, I'm too full. Maybe after the concert if it's still open, I'll go. I'm glad I'm
I am back. That was so much fun, but I am extremely exhausted. I've got 25% left <laughs> on my phone. Let me plug my phone in to charge it. My ears, ooh. I can't hear anything right now, girl. Let me fix you because you're a little lopsided. the train it is what time is it it is 12 49 in the morning the concert started at 7 and ended at around 11 11 36 i think when i checked the phone four and a half hours i have never gone to a concert that lasted four and a half hours that is insane Oh. oh my god. The only thing that sucked <laughs> the entire time is my shoes. These SOBs, whoo! Listen, don't get me wrong. They're comfortable shoes, but any comfortable shoe after standing for hours, you're gonna be over it. I did. I'm so excited. I'm going to post up um, video and pictures. I did meet and greet. And um, luckily, I was able to do both Sierra and Timberland. So I'm excited about that. I got to meet Sierra. First of all, she is so beautiful in person. She is gorgeous. I met her and I went in for a hug. And we gave a hug. And I was like, oh my god, you're so beautiful. And she complimented me back, which was nice. And we just had like a moment. And I was just like telling her nostalgic things. She was just super nice. And then she complimented my nails. So I was definitely feeling myself. <laughs> you know, as a nail tech, that's the highest form of flattery. Is for someone to tell you that your nails look amazing. And she was like, yes, girl. She was like, oh, it's so fierce and unique. I was like, yes, feeling myself. But she was really nice. I got to meet her first because she came um, before Timbaland. And then afterwards, I got to go back and meet Timbaland. And got a lanyard as a souvenir. And then I got this shirt because it was kind of cold. So I just put the shirt over it. Also... I got to have a signed Timbaland like a uh, photo poster and then I also got a signed Sierra this poster is so beautiful she looks absolutely gorgeous dude as the same way she looks online is what she looks like in person she is just gorgeous I'm definitely gonna frame those two um, autographed posters everything was so good it was a perfect lineup it started off it started off with Timbaland then it went to Sierra then it was Busta Rhymes and then it was Missy y'all ain't got no energy <laughs> bear with me and then they gave us this like um, wristband which was super cute because whenever there were moments in the concert when the lights would go down and the beat would get would get crazy. They would turn these on and it would start flashing. Now, I don't know what the heck I'm going to do with it now that I'm home. <laughs> but it's cute to have. Hold on. I need some water. I need some water. Ooh, girl. Mm. that feels like heaven oh that feels so good but yeah what was I saying I started with Timbaland he was so good and he had like all the throwback songs with Aliyah I didn't play all of it for you guys cause I recorded as much as I could 
but then I also wanted to be in the moment so I recorded a few clips and then I turned my phone off and just continue enjoying the concert but he had a lot of songs that he had from like throwback 90s with Alia and then of course all the hit records with Magoo this is what the t-shirt looks like it's pretty simple it came with the VIP I didn't I didn't buy any of like the merch items I did buy some food the food was okay <coughs> but yeah he was good and then Sierra came on stage oh man Sierra is just a beast she's just she's amazing she's an amazing performer um she came on she did her thing and then Busta came on <laughs> Busta I, Busta is, is hilarious he did really good songs and he had people out he brought people out but he was also like funny so it was very entertaining a lot of hype and it went the perfect way because it started off with a little bit of hype from Timbaland then it escalated a little bit with Sierra and you know Sierra is all about that dance so Timbaland had all the awesome beats through like I said the throwback Magoo and Alia and all of that the brat all that he had all the good beats then it went into Sierra who had like all the good dance moves. Then it went into Busta Rhymes where it was just like straight hype. Everything was just like hype. <laughs> and he brought out a, a few people here and there. And then it came to Missy and man. She did her thing y'all. She did her thing. I wonder if this will turn on if I click it. Yeah. It won't turn on but she did her thing i did not well i didn't expect buster to bring out ll cool j which was amazing you know ll cool j is one of the founders like rap of rap like the beginning of rap basically so he's super legendary i didn't think he would bring out ll and then with missy i didn't know she was gonna bring out why am i drawing a blank I didn't know she was going to bring out um, Little Kim. Oh my goodness, that was an amazing surprise. I did not expect that. Oh, and then Sierra bought out, what's her name? Lola Brooks? I think that's her name. Yeah, and then um, the other girl, I forgot her name. Anyway, yeah, it was such a good show. It was definitely... <sighs> you see the struggle right here? <laughs> it was definitely worth it and i didn't even pay a lot honestly for the ticket and the meet and greet i did not pay a lot for it to be such an experience which is like four hours long with that much hype i give that concert a 10 out of 10. if you can find a way to experience it i say buy yourself some tickets and attend if you can i don't know if they're still selling tickets depending on the location i guess but y'all yeah so much fun i'm excited and oh, i was gonna take this off right now but you know what i'm gonna take it off later because i am tired now i'm gonna go and wash my face take all this makeup off and tomorrow i'm off thankfully so okay. i'm so tired tomorrow i'm off i'm doing absolutely nothing i'm gonna lay in bed and just do nothing and just relax because my feet hurt my brain hurts like i'm exhausted in every kind of way but anyway y'all thanks for tuning in don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch y'all on the next one good night